Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Darkest Dungeon. You heard of this game? <laughs> anyway, um, last mission, Antiquarian, made a bunch of money, had a great time. Um, we're, we're probably a little bit, we have too many heirlooms, I think it's something that has come up a lot. Um, we should endeavor, perhaps, to upgrade some things, make our life easier. Seems very sensible to me, but I'm not going to spend very much money, because here's the thing. Hold on, I'm just looking... 300? 60 and 1 blueprint plus 15% healing while items eaten. Some food is granted for free. I may just grab that sight on scene for everything else, which is not the right way to live your life. But dude, free food, that's probably like saving us another, I don't know, few hundred gold a week. What I was gonna say is, um... We could spend 5,000 now and upgrade our units, or we could spend 5,000 later when we're already gaining 5,000 a week. The later we wait to spend money, the better it benefits us, except from like a timing standpoint. Now that we have the bank and gave 5% interest passively, so we're getting 2,500 already. Um, we'll probably try perhaps this medium champion level dungeon. Now, unfortunately, oh, you're on a bender, aren't you? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this means we are kind of beholden um, to the units that are already upgraded, but that's okay. Sorry, sort by a level, please. Thank you. Corey's our highest level unit now. That doesn't seem likely, but sure. Um, could we roll a mark party? Not well, because of the loss of Fox Mulder. So if we were going to roll a more traditional party, we'd probably put Kate, maybe Hafu, who I really feel... Oh, she does have Iron Swan. Okay. She could use some upgrades to level 5, and I would probably do those, even though I just said we didn't want to spend any money. So if we're rolling like a super traditional squad, honestly, it might be a good time to get Daniel Gee he Heasling back. Use Solo to move him up to the front for the first time ever. And then um, somebody that works well equally, sort of, in a 2 or 3 spot. And I really feel like a Bounty Hunter kind of fits the bill there. Even though... Oops, that's not it. Whoa, wait a minute. Blood and Guts. Oh, it's a full, like... Three bleeders, I guess. Do we want to bleed people on the Morins? Ruins of skeletons. They don't bleed well. I think we bleed people down here. And we're not even relying on bleed. We're relying on damage. Aust well, actually, Austin does kind of rely on bleed. So I wasn't going to take him. I was going to take the bounty hunter. Now that I think about it, though. I mean, it's, it still works fine in my world. That, that still looks okay to me. But I'm going to go back, and uh, I know I said we we're going to save our money, but I just want to make sure not everything needs to be leveled up. But some things would benefit from being leveled up. There you go. As expensive, admittedly. Hold on. If it'll make you happy, and again, I don't want to say like I'm doing this under duress, because that's not really the case, but... I will unequip all trinkets, sort by rarity, and say goodbye, and say goodbye. And there you go. There's all our money back. That seems a little bit more productive, wouldn't you say? And you know what? While we're here, you know, we've got the bank available. Um, why not go down here and be like, realistically, never, never. These are never going to be used. Plus 3% crit, it's possible, but unlikely. Can't be sold. That's weird. Maybe it's special for some reason? Quest item? I don't know. Like, some of this stuff, straight up. I mean, any duplicate is obviously never going to be used. But here's the thing. I feel like if it's for a class... Like, if it's specifically a class item, and we've never used it, you don't need to keep it. Actually, probably should have kept that one. <laughs> like, if we don't recognize it, it's probably okay to go. Like, we never care about debuffs. We're not going to care about max HP. we got bigger fish to fry. Plus 33% healing received. Very unlikely to matter. 
I'm kind of willing to keep it there for now. I, I can't help but shake the feeling that I've sold something important, even though it makes no sense. Because I literally recognize none of those. Um, so I do want to make sure Daniel has proper equipment here. Um, we do use... You know, I guess we wouldn't use Dirk Stab. And instead we would use Solo. And we would use Solo to push us to the front. It does mark you, though. It really makes Finale better. Because we like Battle Ballad. And we like Inspiring Tune. Are we likely going to use both, or would we... <sighs> you have no other means to deal damage if you do this. So I say, keep your stress heal, even though Battle Ballad's really useful, and then roll Dirk Stab as, like, a precaution. Um, you're equipped... You don't really need Caltrops as much as maybe, like, a Uppercut Mark, so there's some value there. You're pretty much set. You're pretty much set. Okay. Um, let's go on our embarkation, shall we? Remember? Mostly, I mean, these are missions that are about saving as much money as possible. Getting our economy sorted, and then hopefully, basically just getting free upgrades from there. So our best damage dealer, especially in a non-mark party, is going to be Hafu. So we're going to level her up there, um, and maybe here as well. 15 to 28 damage, pretty good. Does lower her speed a little. Our healer gets the healer's head. Maybe also the protection, but that's a lot of extra stress, right? Like, extra act and extra crit minus dodge. You know what? I like this. Daniel, you can take that. And you know what? Is it extra stress? No, minus. Okay. I'm going to give you plus 20% damage as well, even though it might seem low-key. The finale and uh, Dirk Stab, I guess, to a lesser extent. I hope to handle that. What do I give you? I guess the other Vestal ability, yeah, so your healing is, like, super stacked. And then Bounty Hunter, Ruka, welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to the same old place that you laughed about. Extra damage to melee skills. Love to see it. And you know what? Why not a little Sun Ring? And that's when she got me sprung with her Sun Ring. Now I ain't gonna lie. Oh, we need to get rid of that. That's pretty bad. Um... Let's pr I'm about to provide. We're on the right mission, right? Yeah, wield champion level. Everybody's fully fully stacked and equipped. Five, 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 five. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm opening up the cheat sheet. My wife has left for a rehearsal. I need some help. Twelve. We get eight food for free. So that is eight times seventy-five. It's like seven hundred. Six hundred and something. Um six fifty? Eh, it seems right, man. It's a, well you could do it so easily. Four times this is 300. Eight times 75. It was really 600 right on the nose. Makes me feel like an idiot. Fair enough, though. So, 600 gold every single time. That's not bad. And it says 12 to 18 food. Tell you what, we'll take 16. Split the difference. Two to three shovels. Happy. Zero to two anti-venom. Two to three bandages. Air on the side of caution. Take three. Medicinal herbs. Three to four. Seems a little rich, but I'll take three. Two to three skeletal keys. Two to three holy waters. Ten to sixteen torches. Ten to sixteen torches. I always want the torches side because we take sun rings. All right. Feeling good. Feeling like, you know, we've put ourselves, we were off course. We put ourselves back on course. Last mission was easy. Easy. Now it's because we took party members who made it easy. Money situation. Real nice. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout the... Shut up, nerd. You're talking like a nerd. Okay. On this one, inventory management matters a little bit more, because we're not rolling an antiquarian, of course. And uh, our decisions matter much more, because we're not over-leveled for where we're supposed to be, I think. <coughs> Pardon me. It's a little... little of the talky coughs. And not the talky hot chips. I'm talking about I've been talking too much, so I... What else is new? As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. You know what, Wayne? Like, I appreciate all this, but I've heard it before, okay? So, like, you don't need to constantly before talk, is all I'm just trying to be spent. Hmm. No surprises. Alright, we get an honest appraisal of this mission. The Dirk Stab. You go for it. It's fairly likely to kill. We don't have to solo. Please tell me we go first. Missed me. Oh, no. 
It's the word I can't pronounce, and then it, it's made like some people angry, but not very many, but I consider it like a relatively low priority to get rid of, but still would like to. First mission, no, or first combat, no problem whatsoever. And a skeleton key, potentially pretty decent loot. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? You think you know, but you don't. Holy water. Mmm. I think I will be ignoring any curios that we don't know the positive effect for or don't have the positive effect for in our inventory, unless we've seen them before and just forgot. Dude, I don't think I think I have the Kanaka broad coughs. Actually, I can feel the Kanaka sitting down there. This still doesn't feel worthy of a solo to me. <coughs> Daniel has it under control. Don't even worry about him. He's got a lot of ambition for a man with Enway. Stop this. I don't really care that he's marked. I do. I find it annoying that he's stunned. Kate hasn't even gotten a chance to uh, do anything so far. Don't spit on my wife. That's highly rude. She's blighted. We took no anti-venom. You know, put your own oxygen mask on first. She's got to heal herself. Sorry, Dan. The blight's not that bad, but it's annoying. Wow. Well, he is a cat. Wow. That hurts. This is a tough one, but I think you party heal. Stay ahead of the circumstance. Let your damage dealers do the damage. Decimated. Smart. As in, ooh, that smarts. Nice. She's learning. Dodging. Getting hit for two. No diseases, please. Okay. Not because she's my wife and I would be mad if she was diseased. In sickness and in health. It's more like, I don't want to spend the money to heal her. Well, that doesn't sound better outside of the context of Darkest Dungeon. We're going to be leaving this situation A-OK. -okay. Please. It was supposed to be so easy. There's like ten different status of, oh my god. These spiders are so wily. As the fiend falls... Dan's, like, doing all the work right now. You know what? We got some anti-venom. Very happy to see it. This is the correct orientation of the party. Pile of bones. Pile of bones. We don't have the be-all, end-all on that one as far as we know. This one's going really well so far, actually. Except for the, the disease is money down the drain. I wish it weren't so. Dude, this guy is actually everywhere now. The way is lit. The path is clear. They really want us to fight him. And we probably should. I should look up when that when that fight is best timed. Oh, this is unfortunate. Um Kinda wish I took Battle Ballad now. Ain't that the way she goes though? Well that's terrible. Okay. Usually, this is an iron swan. I like it. I do wish did a little bit more damage, but it's not like that guy's doing anything, apparently. Heal for 15 is very solid. You know we got a potential finale on this guy next turn, right? So, like, what do you think? A come hither on this guy is not that bad. Because it marks him so we can crush him later. We could also lower his prot with a mark. Yeah, that's probably better. It's going to enable us to do a lot more damage, probably. Mm, he is all the way at the back now, though. He's still finaleable, but that might not be what we endeavor to do. So I took a chance to buff finale a little bit more. I know that's not the way we have to do it. It's the way I'm going to choose to do it. Barbaric Yop, will it kill? No, it doesn't do any damage. Just bleed this poor fool. Let this hook while it hurts. Son of a gun. Do his job, I guess. Finish him does extra damage against stuns. But it does target at the back. What if we push him? What if we pull him? No, his move resistance is too high. 
So I think we basically have to go for a finish him. And we'll be content in the fact that at least our protection, you know, lowering allowed us to do more damage. And then... Little party heal, nothing wrong with that. It's either that or a little bit of extra damage on this guy. This guy's finally coming out of stealth, and it should be worth it to kill him, I think. That's terrible. Luckily, we party healed. That was actually one of the most sane decisions I've made in a long time. 13 to 23 damage. Gets you thinking. Unfortunately, just a little bit shy. Still felt like the right time to me, but what do I know? Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Don't do it. Oh, let's go. And no stuns. That's the best part of that. I'm gonna keep the party heals going. We're gonna keep them marked. Might even go for some stuns in the future. Just to give us some, some turns to kind of dial back our HP in a good way here. Oh, we forgot to give the bounty hunter the extra damage against marked. Very stupid. Mark target plus 30 dodge, finale plus 75. We really should be using that more often. Um, stress is 9, stress is 14. I think you go for a hit. Dude, the crits are out of control. Daniel, what have you done to do this to yourself? This time, throw out a, a more robust single heal. 115, 140. Very low stun chance, but a kill. A kill is kind of just like a permanent stun. turning point. What do you mean, turning point? We're crushing it, dude. Skeleton key. Five skeleton keys? A little crazy. A handsome reward now. For a task well performed. I think we get rid of the torches. Torch, I guess. And we'll take a deed. I think we need those more than anything else. Again, inventory management. Kind of a permanent sore spot for me, but we're working on it. Pile of scrolls. Do not use a torch. Unerring. Mm -mm. Again, we're not really doing the right thing with those because we are not purging good, or sorry, purging bad positives in order to make sure that we get like these super soldiers. That's more of a bear taffy scene, to be honest with you. That guy, he's the real pro. I'm just, you know, along for the ride at this point, trying to make sure I complete my solemn vow and beat Darkest Dungeon and hopefully, you know, maybe learn a thing or two while doing it. And I gotta say, this mission looks like, as of right now, is going okay. Pax laden with loot. No, Pax is I'll over. You just missed it, buddy. Um, I think we can get rid of the anti-venom. Take some extra cress. Gonna be a little bit on the shorter side so far, but you never know, I guess, when things could go terribly wrong. We know we're gonna be able to skip one room, so I'm skipping that one. Oh, bone altar. No, thank you. I'd like to continue living today, if possible. And remember, we're making money just going out on the mission. We have a passive income. Thanks to the bank. So maybe, maybe you solo right off the bat. Oh, it marks them? No, okay. I, <laughs> I am in over my head. What are you talking? You're doing fine. Don't worry about it. Um... 29 damage. How am I going to get you for 29? I'll take it. I hate using two good units. But I'll take it. Alright, so please attack Daniel. He can't be hit. I regret that immensely. But dude, think about how strong his buff's going to be. <laughs> when he comes out of it... He's going to be living. You know what you're getting with these heals. You know, you're never going to get a, a super high roll that wins you the game, but still. You know, you're going to get heals consistently. You're never going to get that low roll zero where life is just nothing but pain. So, I mean, at this point, I think you definitely go for that. And then you pretty much have to use your healer to... Uh, to heal at this point, so you're gonna have to use somebody to get this action done. Um, I think he's solo again, dude. Sorry, you do it like this. 
buff that finale until it's gonna like absolutely destroy this guy. He's dodging again. Life's good. Okay. So I think you certainly want to go for like a collect bounty. It's a decent amount of damage. Your healer. Okay, fine. Never mind. Should have gone for the heal. As you might expect. Iron Swan cannot be used because you're no longer in the front position. Your prot is 40. 6 to 11 damage with some bleed. 9 to 17 damage. Let's, let's put some DOT on there. It's a decent roll. I really don't want to finale this guy. The game wants me to. I refuse. That's a pretty solid crit. He's 1 HP away from death, which is irritating. I guess you make sure he dies. Although your speed might be higher. That might have been a misplay. Either way, we have a camp available at some point, so... We just choose when we use it. It's going well. No complaints. 375, 750. Ah, I mean, I guess we probably could dump, like, maybe the medicinal herbs. But I think financially it's just like... I'd rather rest at the end is the thing, you know? Like, if possible, camping at the end is ideal for us. Our stress is really good right now. I don't know if we've camped at the end in, like, this entire campaign so far. It's something I used to do all the time. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Originally, I was planning on using Holy Water here to up our resistances, but I... I don't remember if maybe we use Holy Water on this, we get an advantage. So, I'm a little scared. These guys are all pretty tough. Let's see if we can get that early finale. We kind of got screwed last time, to be honest. Nice Blight Resist. Very, very helpful. I think we might want to go for Swine Lord at the back here. But also, what about a finish him? 10 to 20. Who's still going? Uh, I think we go here. Because then Hafu can get a kill with If It Bleeds, which is probably a very bad way to use her, but... What's the debuff? Minus 40% damage. That's really bad right now. As is that, obviously. That Blight is pretty nasty. Of course, we got rid of the wrong thing. Um, speed is 6. I think we're good. It's frustrating. Whoops. I'm going to go for a party heal. And slowly build everybody back up, hopefully. Alright, one down. Still is a very not good situation. I really don't want a finale right now, because we're riding out this debuff for at least a little while. Dude, one day he's going to get real dodges. I promise you. One day it'll happen. It, one day it can't not happen. One day that dodge is going to manifest. It's going to be a dream come true. So I think you gotta get this fool up here. That's also bad. Healer? I was gonna say. Now, um three damage. You you have to do a big heal on Dan, I think. Keep him going. If only to He's riding out his debuff. This hurts. Ooh, not if he misses, I guess. And he's all the way at the back again. That's all right, we can Iron Swan him. Now you need, uh, preferably before our healer, otherwise you could die of poison. That would be really unfortunate. Oh! <laughs> Life goes on, apparently. Um, I gotta think about how I'm gonna kill you. I kinda still wanna pull you up. It's fine. I'm fortunate, but fine. Now, what do you think? I think you party heal again. Get them all back in a decent situation. At least to the point where they're going to survive a blight and an attack, and worse would put them on death's door. Stop. You hit the only unit you couldn't hit. Very frustrating, but also admirable in its own unique way. Thank 
the Lord. You need a big heal, and you're still kicking it. Stress is not so good. Please just let my friend use his finale. It's all I've ever wanted in my life. We gotta put some damage on this guy. Oh my lord. One day. One day. One day. I It only hits Ruka. It's insane. Twenty-five to forty-six. Days. You have to use it on this guy. We low rolled. Life goes on. Knock this fool out of contention. Okay, dude, this was an extremely bad fight, and still is. <laughs> I think he just, at this point, just ice him. You know, he, he's not at the point where it's worth it to take extra turns. All right, that was really, really bad. But we made it. Only cost really was stress. Um, we're gonna dump Remind our bleed resist to take uh, Rubus. So we're killer. probably dump medicinal herbs to take this. And you know what? We have literally one more room to go. One more combat. I'm gonna eat. That's enough. Oh, we're done. Okay, continue adventuring. Camp. Eat everything. A moment of respite. And then cure stress. To steal oneself against the coming horrors. All companions minus 15 stress. Beautiful. 2, 14. Anybody else? Anybody else? Should have done that slightly differently. Uh, anything that prevents ambushes? <laughs> But it's mockery plus courage. Check this out. All companions. Oh, you only have two stress. What do we care? No ambush. Thank God. Get me out of here. Okay, that went fine. In the end. This wine folk's labyrinth may yet prove to be navigable. A little low on gold, but you know we made some by just being part of the operation. Hard Noggin, Unholy Hater, Early Riser, Ruined Scrounger. I mean, we replace good stuff with good stuff. I don't know how to interpret it, really. The Fox Mulder is finally back. 82,000 gold. Acres. So we need portraits. You know, we should really just convert crests, probably, into portraits. Might be a little too much, but we can do, um, you know, one level bar, one With level gambling. Ale, maybe they can be inured against the It's a start, below. is all I'm trying to say there. I don't know, what can we do with a stagecoach here? Maybe, yep, um, sure, increases available number of heroes or with extra crests. Then we're, now we're converting deeds into crests, which I, I don't know if it's a good thing for us to do, but there you go. Our hero barrack size is larger. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. Don't no not nine more anymore. There you go. We need more deeds for that, you fool. Okay, still. We did okay. I think we did okay at least. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!